And we're gonna do a little bit of a walkabout from the swimming pool. And we're just gonna go along the beach. As you can see, nice, beautiful, bright, sunny day. First full day, bit of rain, a little disappointing, but the time was epic. If you watch my other video, the foam parties here are off the hook. And there is two foam parties. Right here, one on a Wednesday, and the other on Saturday. So we're just gonna do our little walkabout. As you can see, here's the swim up rooms. Closer to the beach, apparently, more expensive. The Diamond Club, if you just want to use their services for the day, such as the, the, the little cabana huts by their small pools where you got your own like jacuzzis, they're only for Diamond Club members. Um, they start at $30 a day per person. So if you did that all week, that is $60 in American in a week. That's stay. That's $420. That's quite a big jump. But apparently there's special privileges by the restaurant, by the beach, which we're about to come up on. Um, and that does not include your room. Your room hits a lot more expensive. I've heard it's approximately $90 to $110 a day per person to upgrade to the Diamond Club rooms. So that, I mean, you're looking at roughly $1,300, and that is American funds. So if you have to do a transfer of money, say into Canadian or whatever country you're from, you're, you can add probably 20 to 25% to that. So this is the Diamond Club seating area. As you can see, this is the destruction of Hurricane Fiona. It took out this breaker wall, like it was just, I don't know if it's a breaker wall or whatever, but it, it took it out. This is the Diamond Club Beach Bar for only Diamond Club members. As you can see, there's never an issue to find a seat and we got down here late. So let's just do a little walk through. As you can see, lots and lots of palapas, lots of them. So there's no worry about getting coverage. generally seaweed every morning but uh, the crews were out yesterday we were watching them they were raking up like madmen and as you can see from what I've been told by the locals that the erosion this happened just from Hurricane Fiona it really eroded a good chunk of the beach down now we're in the region of Uvero Alto I believe I'm saying that correct bear with me if I'm not and the sand is typically more brown, not the typical grayish color you're gonna get on Bavaro Beach. You, there's two totally different stretches of beaches here. And as you can see, prototypical for Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. Uh, the water around here in Bavaro Beach and everything else is not prototypical for snorkeling, simply because the waves pick up and all that. The water is still beautiful blue and everything else, but if you want to do some good snorkeling, you take day excursions to Sayona Island and so on. And as you can see, how far it's a pretty decent sized beach. Now we're going to go down to the, call it the common section, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Again, no fear of finding seating. You, you don't have to come out at six o'clock in the morning and reserve a chair or reserve this. As you can see, they do have beachside service, which is nice. But again, you can see, 
I've just gotten down here and there's still tons of chairs to pick from. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. I checked the temperature, it's coming in, it's already 83 degrees. Nice and warm, time to get your sweat on. We're just gonna do a little walk back to the pool. So again, I'll give you one more shot further on down the beach. All right, I hope you enjoyed it.